All right, please go up to a search browser and you're going to type in www.act.org. Then in the top right hand corner to get started, we're going to go to My ACT. And if you've never registered, you're going to click on Create My ACT Account. We're new to this, so I'm new. Let's get started. When you fill out this information, it is very important that when you fill out specifically your last name, if you have two last names, you're going to put those both into that place. So fill out your first name, your last name, your email address can either be your personal email or your school email, and it's going to be helpful to have your cell phone along with your email. Down below, you're going to see how we're going to verify this account once we've entered that information. Once you've entered in the information above and you've created a password, you're going to click I understand, creating this account that we are abiding by the rules of ACT. We are not a, a robot. And if you have a working cell phone, it's going to be much quicker to verify creating this account using your cell phone. Once we've created no extra space. Let's try again. Once we've created the account, we're going to log in. So now go to the right hand side of this page and we're going to enter in the email address that you use, whether it's personal or the school email. Your password you created and then now we're going to sign in. Many of these questions we are going to ignore. We are only going to answer the ones that say required. All right, it's time to register for your first ACT. Make sure that you have picked up a fee waiver from your teacher. A fee waiver will look like this. And this is the information we will need in the top right hand corner. It will be important when we plug this in eventually to use the dashes as well. All right, register for the ACT. We're in the United States. Now this is important information. Do you need accommodations? Unless you have a 504 or an IEP, you're going to click none. And none of you have an ACT study voucher. I do not suggest you take the ACT with writing. And it is to your advantage to take the paper ACT. Students historically do much better when they have a paper copy in front of them. Now you're going to select which date you would like to take the test. And I'll add that to our cart. They're going to ask a lot of personal information that we do not have to provide in order to register. Here's where you're going to take the code that's located in the top right hand corner and you're going to enter it into the space. I'm going to go back just to make sure that looks correct and then apply it and instead of paying $69 it will clear off and now it is zero. Now along with this notice that you will now be eligible for a free Kaplan self-paced course to prepare for the ACT. Down below we're going to scroll down to the very end and we're going to save and continue. This just says again we are abiding by the rules here. And now we're going to get into personal questions. So pay close attention to this part. We will add the photo at a later time. You're going to click your registering yourself. Anything that's required that you don't have to be specific about, I always suggest to my students just to click you prefer not to respond. So I'm only looking for where it is highlighted in red 
I prefer not to respond. I prefer not to respond. They just use this information to create data. So at this part, notice that there's no required behind it, so I'm just going to eliminate answering those questions. And this just says, hey, if I score really well, can you connect me with colleges? Yes, please do so. Now there's only one question here that has the required, so I will answer that. Natalie currently is a junior. Again, none of these say required. I'm going to skip through them. None of them say required. It's just used to create data for ACT. I'm hitting next all the way through. And now, you're welcome to do this, but again, this is just used to create data, so I always suggest to my students right now, since this has no impact in how it is being graded, that you are undecided. You don't know exactly what you want to do right now. None of those have required behind. This is the important part, one that you want to slow down to. So this says, where do you want your score sent? And we get to choose three colleges. I will stay that, say that generally in-state colleges can offer you the most money. So I'm going to start by just typing in Arizona and see what colleges pop up. And I'm going to select ASU, Arizona State University, the University of Arizona in Tucson, and NAU. But again, you can select colleges from other states as well. All right, if you like your scores texted to you as soon as they're available, you'll click on the SMS. If you have a parent who likes the information uh, made available to them when test scores become available, you can type in their information and their email address. You're going to scroll down to the very end, saying that you've read and understand how the ACT works and the rules, and now you're going to complete the purchase. And this is the screen that verifies that you are taking the test at Trevor Brown on this specific date at 8 o'clock.